So my name is Melissa and I'm here from London in the UK. Uh, so my background is in like um, videography and video editing. I went to university to study filmmaking so I've got quite, I would say, a good background in it. I'm quite comfortable with it. Uh, so when Diana, who's the, uh, here, is that? So when Diana um, invited me here I was nervous because I didn't know who was going to be here and like the levels of um, like industry professionalism. So I came here with my background knowledge and I just assumed everyone else was also industry professionals but actually I found that there's a lot more going on than just uh, film background. There's like um, accounting and man managerial roles and everything so I think as a, a group of there's 13 of us, 14 I think, um, we all really bring um, a lot of flavours to the pot really. Um, so we decided to do a film about kind of female empowerment uh, since you know it's women in film we thought let's not let's harness that idea and because uh, we all traveled here again it's about females uh, and women traveling just on any journey and kind of the uh, stigmas that can happen so like guilt of leaving home and family and like the discrimination that we can face um, and the confidence and fear of just kind of traveling. So we've got um, like a directorial team, uh, we've got a makeup, costume and props, and we've got a uh, and, and script. Um, so we've already worked out our locations, uh, which are, is here in, in Virginia and also in uh, Kavan. Most of them, they haven't a connection with audiovisual production. And uh, some of us, we had an experience for this uh, domain sector, but uh, this is it is very important that we had the opportunity to work together for a week and to have a result, to have a short movie. That's it's amazing. We see that, for instance, in Greece, we had um, women, a lot of women in production as a producer, but we have only three today, today, uh, as DOPs, Department of Photography, and we have none on sound, and we have some on editing, but the best editors are men. Yes, you say the red and the black and the... A woman with a family, not really older, with a family that she travels for professional reasons, and a very young girl that decided to discover the world, and her body, and everything. And we choose to put different languages, so to make that is the same problem everywhere. <laughs> it's a story of my life now because in my country now is my daughter and I am missing her and I'm calling all the time. Uh, when you are a mom, uh, sometimes uh, you are always with a guilt. I don't know if, the, if, if it's the right thing or not, but you have the guilt. And you have to make some decisions to know that uh, your life uh, has also many things eh? and you, are, you have many roles eh? and you have to feel good in uh, all the roles. And uh, I think that every woman can be identified with this because we have all the anxiety of a young girl to travel alone and the mother and all these thoughts and uh, a mother who travels alone, and her thoughts are always back home. Or is she sitting down there? Come Great, in. then come this way. And this, this way. way. Yeah, it's because it's easy. No, 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 it has to be. I'm thinking, for the establishment. Do it from, like, from my side. Yes. It's a, I don't know if there's not. There's not. Um, the props and uh, costume team are going out uh, into the streets of Virginia, just um, and just in the charity st shops to see what they can find. Um. 
Then at the end of the film, they're going to have this almost light bulb moment where they like just turn their phones off and just enjoy themselves. And that will be kind of like the conflict resolution that we're going to have. Like, you know, yes, you're a woman, you can travel alone. You don't have to be scared because look at what you can do. So they're going to kind of like run in um, parallel and tandem with each other, each storyline. Um, so they can yeah, reflect and be relatable to most.